All right, children. I love you. Have a great day at school. Oh, girl, you just hold my hoops while I do some business. When life's worth living, it's worth recording. This bright new future is worth exploring. So grab your camera and call all your friends. And hope that this dream never ends. Living life through a lens. Oh, heads up, we got a truck full of suitcases in here. Loofity poofity, here's yours. Princess Tart doing work. You you chuck those hay bales out of there. Okay, love you, have a great day. Bye, love you. Love you. <sighs> Zen. Yeah, that feels nice. Center. Mama no, just kidding. Uh, hey guys, just got done sitting in the sauna at the gym. Then I swam a few laps, centered myself. I lived in the now, really getting spiritual with this Eckhart Tolle. Have you guys heard of this book, The Power of Now? I like it. I can tell it's something that I would not have liked even like a year, maybe two years ago. Maybe I would have. It's kind of a little, you maybe classify it hippie-ish. It's because like he's talking and you're like, what? Shut up. This is weird. But I really, it's like I'm connecting with it. It's ma It makes sense to me. Uh, specifically for like, just anyways. So speaking of that and books, I'm going right now to uh, 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 the podcast at Maker Studios. We are doing the podcast. So I think uh, the first episode will be up Friday. I'm gonna talk about that. If you guys join the book club, I also was listening for about 30 minutes to The Power of Habit. And uh, I'm really excited to talk about it today at the podcast. So check out the podcast on the podcast channel. It's gonna probably be up the first episode on Friday, okay? I'm going home now, I gotta hurry. It's 9.31 and I have to be there at 10. Okay, bye. But not goodbye for long. Just like that, I'm back. All right, here we are. Colette is so excited because look at our craft service. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. I was just complaining because I forgot my wallet with cash to buy a snack, but I don't need to. Dude, look at Ron. Ron produces the crap out of so this podcast. Sweet. That's Ron's bag. That's how I know he's in charge of this. <laughs> look at all these good, <laughs> healthy choices. This yeah. Let's go see. Let's go find where Ron and Rolf are. I think they're on the other side of this wall right here for the podcast. <laughs> Busted! Oh. I caught you guys talking about the podcast. Uh, Cecily, are you mad at me? I did not send you a happy birthday Daddy tweet. Just won. Oh, no, Where's Ron? Is that Ron? Yeah. Cecily, be honest. Were you mad that we didn't wish you a happy birthday? I, did, I didn't even notice, to be honest. You guys, I want every single one of you. Will that be annoying if I send a thousand people to send you happy birthday tweets? No, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to be sad about getting attention. <laughs> I'm sad about attention. Don't just tweet her happy birthday. I want you to all go tweet one nice thing about Cecily. One nice thing. It's going to be hard, but rack your minds. Rack your brains. It's her birthday. She turned 32 yesterday. How old are you? Do you want to tell how you're old? No, no? I'm not okay. Tell <laughs> Stupid. I'm still in my own video. <laughs> go check out Cecily's video. She's going to tell you how old she is. When the kids go to sleep, what do we do, babe, when the kids go to sleep? Uh, we well. fall asleep shortly after. Because <laughs> we're like, damn, kids are in bed finally. It's time for us to get some red eye, some should eye. Sometimes I fall asleep before they're in bed. Yeah, she does. And then I'm in charge of putting them to bed, and that never goes well. Uh, Counting up to three. <laughs> uh, I'm excited to be back. It's been a whole year. Blake, we've missed it's been you. It's been, I it's been a while. Since the end of last May. Yeah. Let's blow the dust off this old blow. camera. <laughs> oh, get the dust off the when the kids go to sleep camera. All right, here we go. We're doing the podcast. You ready, Toots? You yeah. got a lot of good stuff to say? Uh, um, sure. Don't let me run away with the conversation. You know I like to. <laughs> I know you do. But I like that. That's the problem. You know I'm a loud mouth. So the podcast is live. It was fun. It was really cool to be back. I've really missed it. It's just like... It's cool hanging out with the guys and being able to like flush out thoughts. Um, I really feel good about today's podcasts. You know how I was talking about this new book that I'm listening to earlier today? I wasn't gonna suggest um, that you guys download it because it's kind of a little hard to follow. And if you watch the podcast, well, 
Actually, it's gonna be on the second podcast because the podcast that's live right now, we talk more about the power of habit. That was the last book that we talked about. And I wasn't gonna suggest this book to download, but after we did the second podcast that we did today that will upload next week sometime, I was like, this book really is like changing the way I think. And I think it can help some of you. And I was gonna try to like find a different book, but um, I am gonna suggest this book. So we are doing the book club. It is happening, finally. I know it took a little while, but Roth had to set up the studio, but we're back on track. So we do have an official book club. This time it's happening. And we talked about the book that a lot of you guys downloaded. So if you go to audible.com slash shaytards, you can get a sign up for a membership and you get your very first audiobook download for free. So. I don't know if you wanna waste that free download. I'm not saying it's wasting it on this one. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And it's kind of intimidating. Like when you first start listening to it, you're like, who is this guy? And why is he talking like that? But it's making a big difference in how I think. And it's it's really helping me. Sincerely, it's helping me um, like get through, there's so much stress, there's so much things that I'm doing all day. When I start listening to this book, it's weird. I don't know if it's just his voice, but right as I turn it on, I'm like, <sighs> okay, and I talk about it in the next podcast, so you'll have to see. The one that's up today, we talk about the last book, The Power of Habit, but um, this is the next book that I wanna work on. So if you guys wanna be part of the book club, go to the link right here, audible.com slash shaytards. You can sign up to get a free or get a membership and then you get one free download. It is a membership. You get, uh, you know, you can download like 160,000 audiobooks. Nobody's going to ever listen to that. I mean, that's like, you can never listen to that many audiobooks, I don't think, you know, but they have like tons of options. So links right here and the book club is actually happening and we're going to talk about all these books that we download on the podcast when the kids go to sleep. So check it out. Links below for the audible.com link and the podcast. Go and, and leave comments and suggestions on which books you think that we should listen to next, okay? I like to go through these quick because I'm like exercising every day so I have a lot of time to listen to them. So like The Power of Habit, I'm like six hours into that book. It's a long time. But uh, if you want to be part of the book club, links below, audible.com slash shaytards. Get a membership and then get it one free download, all right? And then go check out the podcast right now. Speaking of listening to audiobooks, I'm about to do that very thing right now. It is 4.30 in the afternoon. Me and Ron didn't get to go. Come. <laughs> I'm scratching my truck. We didn't get to go on a bike ride this morning because we were shooting the podcast, but I told Ron, I said, I don't care, dude, we're still going. So it's 4.30 in the afternoon, we're finished with our work, it's time to ride. Are we gonna make it 40 miles? We're gonna be watching the sunset through our sweaty <laughs> It's gonna be so nice, I'm excited. So here we go, I'm going on a 40 miler and I'm gonna listen to my book that I've been listening to and loving it. Who's your buddy? You are Teddy Bear. You're my teddy bear buddy. I was telling the kids they each needed to have a buddy because we're going back to the mall for a few reasons. We needed to return something. And I promised Suntar that he could get some new shoes. And because he wears out his shoes like crazy. And he's kind of a funny kid where he picks one pair that he absolutely loves and then he'll wear them, will wear them out to death. I've noticed that the girls are way different. Like girls, we have like tons of pairs of shoes because we like options, but he picks one pair of shoe and he wears that shoe like every single day till they're dead. Oh, the wall of shoes. Which kind are you looking for, dude? Whatever. <laughs> He's easy to please. I like this shoe. Is that gonna be your favorite shoe? Yeah. <laughs> There's some cute shoes in here, guys. Look at these, look at this one. Nom, 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 nom. I will eat you. <laughs> it's so cute. What size is this? It's not your size because we're not getting any today. Yes, it is. But they're cute. They're cute. You don't wear shoes yet, huh? Because you don't want to cover up those cutest toes. Those cutest toes. Okay, we finally made a decision. We took some new shoes. Nike, SB, Yay! It took us a while to get to this point. We weren't sure at first what style he wanted, and then once he figured out the style, nobody had his size. And Suntar is a lot like me, I'm realizing, that he likes, like when he gets something in his head that he likes, like a style, he's gonna search for it. He doesn't just want any other shoe, he wants that kind of shoe. Anyway, that's how I am. I don't really get something unless I really love it. Good job, dude. You like them? Yes. All right, wear those ones out. Mom, come look. 
Oh, it's beautiful. I'm doing. I'm doing it all alone. I didn't need any help. You didn't have any help. You should. Now let's actually get the oil from the top cover. Did you put everything in it already? Yes. I, no, the not eggs? the eggs yet. Now do okay. I do? Now do I do? Okay. I well, let's read the box. Where's your box? So each of the children are making their own recipe <laughs> from the box because Ooh. Princess Charlotte is having her birthday on Sunday, so she's bringing this. treats with her class. And then the other I'm two wanted to bake too, this. so we're just making a lot of hey, treats. I'm doing this sprinkle, and I'm doing this sprinkle. Okay. Um, let's go in the water first. Okay, well we got your powder stuff in, so now we gotta put the next thing in. Let's see what we got. Uh, no, he doesn't have. We need one cup water in yours. One cup one water. Cup water. Okay, how much water do we need in yours? Get your bing. Okay, put water in your, Get your box. We need to figure out how much There's we need. Mom, the eggs all alone. Oh, first you gotta be I'm so that. proud. Uh, can you get me? <laughs> You're having so much fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 My little, my little bing, honey. We need one fourth cup water. Okay, we need one fourth cup. So let's get a fourth cup. You get your egg? That's what I do on my egg. How many eggs do you need? Three. This is their favorite part. My favorite part is getting the frosting on. Oh, really? I oh, need a napkin. Did you put two eggs in? Do the other egg and then I'll give you a napkin. Oh, oh my. This is so good. <laughs> it's always it. messy. Good job, honey. Well done. Can I need a pen? It's beautiful. Okay. I get to mix it and go oh, crazy. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, crazy. Right. I get purple in mine. <laughs> Whatever. You got sparkles and all sorts of colors. I got blue and green. Blue and green. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry, bro. You got mine. You got my wonderful hands. <laughs> what? And mom's. <laughs> we got a whole lot of artificial Whoa. deliciousness. That's what we got in this house. <laughs> that is the cutest thing so in the cute. entire world. <laughs> oh, you're a cute little bug. So cute. Alright, are these babies done yet? Ooh, they're looking really delicious. These ones are super pink and beautiful. And these, these ones are rock tarts. That's just brownies. Hey, thank you guys for every one of you who have made us an end slate. I really like them. A lot of them I don't use because they don't fit. See how this one's kind of like a little bit too not wide enough? Is that a term? Too not wide enough? I think they need to be 16 by 9 to fill up the whole space. So if you're making one, just keep that in mind. But I thought this one looked really good, so I wanted to use it, even though there's some black bars on the side. Check out what we were doing yesterday. What, what, I can't even remember, good golly, Miss Molly. Better go click on that video and watch it. I wouldn't want to miss a day of the shaytards, would I now? Come on, silly, there's a lot of cool stuff happening. <sighs> I don't know where I just went there. I blacked out for a moment. Oh, uh, click on the feeling lucky button if you want to see what the shaytards were doing. One, two, three, four, and five years ago, click on those cute corresponding faces above. Hey, it's Friday. Okay, it's the weekend. Smile. Put a smile on your face. Jump up. Hip hop. Hooray. Ho, oh, don't be sad. We're not going to be here on the weekends. There's plenty of reruns to watch. Hey, uh, coming soon, this next week, actually in a couple days, I have an announcement for you. There's going to be some Shaytard content on the weekends. Stay tuned. Wink, wink. Okay, love you guys. See you on Monday. Oh, by the way. We're flying to New York on Sunday, so maybe we'll see some of you there.